Hey everybody, it's Emily. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm eating and a little bit of what I'm doing. And I'm also going to be showing you a snippet of some of the exercises that I do at the gym. Um, it changes a lot. This routine is not the same every single time, but it's just what I was doing on, on this day when I filmed for you. So enjoy. Okay, so that's everything that I did at the gym today. Um, it's usually pretty similar, but it changes up a lot of the time um, and also depends on what part of my cycle that I'm in. I try to cycle sync my workouts because that makes all the difference on a woman's hormone levels. And now I'm going to eat some raw bison liver, which I've been eating for skin health because yeah that went downhill in Europe <laughs> anyways I'm making a comeback all right so I'm gonna eat some of that now and there's also a little bit of raw goat's milk left which is seriously gnarly because it's a little bit fermented at this point and raw goat's milk is already not that sweet so I'm basically just gonna skull that because I don't think Joey's drinking it so I'll drink it <laughs> um yeah, so that's basically what I'm having now as a little bit of like a post-workout snack, which is really just for the health health benefits of this stuff. Okay. Mm. Oof, that's a huge piece. I'm gonna cut this up though. Okay, this is kind of a lot, but I'm gonna eat it all. Um, I'm not too worried about eating too much liver currently so I'm going to probably swallow this with a glass of water yeah so this is the raw milk that we bought mm, not that long ago to be honest but let's just get a taste of what I'm in for oh my god okay well it's not sweet but it's also not that bad 
I haven't been eating enough probiotics, I don't think. So this will be that. I'm gonna put it in a glass so it's just easier to drink really quickly. Oof. Okay. Okay, and then also some water. That will be fine because honestly, liver doesn't taste bad, but it's just easier to swallow it. <laughs> okay. Let's just take a seat. So, obviously, I don't like. No, the liver is fine. I'm literally just worried about this milk. The milk is just a bit too gone. If you can see, it's kind of like, it looks like powdery on the top. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna start with the milk just to get it over and done with. Not even sugar coating it. Blech. Not even sugar coating it, it's so bad. Now you might be wondering, like, why would I do this? Why would I drink something that tastes bad? Well, it could just be because I'm a weak and I don't like drinking things that taste bad. And so maybe this would taste good to someone else, but it's also because this is actually, believe it or not, healthier than when it's fresh because when it ferments, there's more of that beneficial bacteria which is really good for gut health, obviously. Um, the lactose is being consumed and digested by the bacteria, so that means that it's actually easier to digest. So this is even more easier to digest for people who are lactose intolerant. They get the, they get the <laughs> stinky fermented milk. Joey! I'm drinking that goat's milk, it's so fermented. He wants to see. <laughs> is, it, is it just like fever now? No. You, you need grains to make fever. Oh yeah. It, but you said it's well fermented? Oh. Yeah. It's not that nice at all. Yeah, no, I don't. Anyways, it'll make the liver taste like dessert. <laughs> slice it up though instead of like taking big chunks yeah it is because it's not easy to chew through at all yeah. i'm gonna scull this so quickly never mind <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm just about to go to whole foods because there's a couple of things that i need to get and I'll probably just bring you with me so that you can see um, some of the products that I'm choosing and a little bit of why. So basically, I'm just going to walk there because we're very, very close to one. Okay, first things first, I want to try rose water mist. Um, and this is just water and rose flower oil so <laughs> I just get this small bottle to make sure that it I don't know works but yeah I don't know I've just heard things about like rose rose oil on for women so I'm gonna try this okay so I looked through the different options of the facial cleansers and I'm gonna go with the Burt's Bees there's probably better out there but facial cleansers at least you know they wash off and it's mainly if I'm wearing makeup, I can use it to get it off and also just to clean my skin from time to time. And the ingredients are okay. It's, you know, it's pretty natural. There's some things like, you know, alcohol that's better to not have on your skin. And phenyl exethanol is pretty high up on the list as a preservative. But like I said, it, it washes off pretty quick. So this I would not get the Burt's Bees in the same, the same brand, but for the lotion, like look soybean oil and canola oil and then also this uh, I don't remember what this is but it's not good anyways so yeah I definitely would not get their version of the body lotion that's not good ingredients 
but the one that I read the ingredients and I didn't mind was this one that was good um, this brand some of them just does have soy milk but I got the one that doesn't have soy milk um, and relatively good ingredients yeah so pretty good and I've tried things like coconut oil olive oil olive oil works the best coconut oil it does not go into your skin at all it's gonna get on everything olive oil is pretty good but I just don't carry an olive oil bottle with me everywhere especially when I go on planes all the time okay now I usually don't take supplements but since I've broken out I'm trying to combat this and zinc is one of the best ways to do that so I am gonna start taking zinc tablets chelated zinc and I don't know I think this is the best one out of the ones that I see okay another great food to heal the skin from the inside out is sardines so I'm gonna get some sardines these ones wild in extra virgin olive oil they're super high in DHA which is great for the eyes and the skin All right, ladies, for menstrual sanitary pads, I go for organic cotton. So these ones say that they are free from perfume, chlorine, bleaching, pesticides, and any irritants and allergens, and that's what you want. <laughs> so I know this is the brand that I chose, and I have never seen this brand before because it's my first time to America. nice okay i'm just going to eat these sardines in the sun um just plain sardines guys mm. the ones in olive oil always taste better than the seawater ones yep yum sardines I don't even really know what this is. Either the liver was lunch and this is a snack, or this is lunch part two, or this is lunch and the liver was a snack, I don't know. Okay, they're good ones. Thank gosh, because we did not want bad sardines. It's so much better than whatever my last meal was. So tonight um, we're actually going out to dinner and apparently this place just cooks with beef tallow and apparently all their steaks and meat is grass fed actually. So that's really nice. Um, yes, yeah, so basically I've just got a little bit more work to do this afternoon and then afterwards I'm going to get ready for going out to dinner. Guys, are we feeling this top? I don't know. It's um really pretty, but I don't actually have the skirt with me that I would want to wear it with. Otherwise, this is gorgeous, but I don't know which one I'd rather wear. Okay, I went with this. It just went much better with the shoes. I would yeah probably not wear the shirt with pants if i had more clothes than i do but yeah i did not bring that many clothes at all so that's pretty much the outfit it's quite um yes this is what i would wear to a restaurant usually a dress i like dresses but i only brought three dresses which is not that very many Lucky the sandals with these pants are kind of making me cringe but I genuinely don't have another option besides my like shoes that I would wear during the day. I don't know. Okay, and this is the makeup. It's a little bit more than usual because it's 
an outing, so why not? And yeah, it's basically the look. You gotta see it in person. You can't just keep talking about it. that's everything that I ate and a little bit about what I did so hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and also subscribe to follow along with all my future videos